GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to sequence an A major scale in groups of six. So if you know this A major scale shape right here, we're going to take that scale, play the first six notes starting on the fifth fret of our low E string. That's our first sequence, six notes. And I'm looking at my right hand, and you're going to notice that I'm going to play down, up, down. Go over to the next string, the A string, play up, down, up. Once you have that down, make sure down, up, down. Next string, up, down, up. Start the sequence over on the A string. So down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's what the whole series of the sequences on this scale, you're just going to do that throughout the whole scale. So start on the D string, do the exact same thing, down, up, down, next string over, up, down, up, next string over, start on, on your G string, down, up, down, go over to the B, up, down, up, start on your B again here. Down, up, down. Go over to your E string to finish it off. Up, down, up. So, you can play the scale down too, and you should. You should play it up and then play it down. So, start on your pinky with uh, alternate picking. Up, down, up. Next string, down, up, down, and so on. So that's sequencing an A major scale, uh, six notes at a time, all the way up and all the way back down. So you can uh, work on this with your legato technique if you want to as well. Let me show you what that sounds like. It sounds a little bit more smooth, almost like a violin if you use this kind of sequencing with this kind of scale. So you can get it moving along at a pretty good clip with that, and it's a really good exercise for your left hand, too. So if you really like the sound that you're hearing from this, go check out some artists like Al Demiola and uh, Paul Gilbert, too. That's two really different kind of styles that really use the scale sequencing approach like this pretty heavily in their music.